up guys uh wanted to uh, have a little discussion today i guess uh since i'm videoing this not live i'm discussing this with myself but i hope you all enjoy it uh you know behind me is my rs1 chewy and uh you know one of the things i like to do with every machine that i get is uh you know for the quality of ride i like to change the springs out if not change the entire shocks out with walker evans velocity shocks but since chewy's a trail rig i decided to change the springs out but i wanted to show y'all guys something that's uh not a lot of people know of well, when you're changing your springs out um get my camera turned around show you you know of course most of y'all know that on razors that your secondary spring or tender spring is most likely collapsed uh, straight from the factory. It is actually engineered and designed that way. I don't agree with it. So I go ahead and change out <clears throat> both actually front and rear with eight new springs. And what I did here is I went with uh, some IBOC springs. And since IBOC doesn't have the RS1 kit already available, I'm having to play with my spring rates to try to get it right. And the original springs that I went with was for a 17 XP 1000 and because this the RS1 is, is shorter it really changed the spring rates so the original springs I put on were way too stiff and luckily I ran into um, the guys from suspension direct while I was out in Utah and uh, Dan had me a, a mainspring with a lot less um, weight on it and it helped out a lot but what I wanted to show you mainly is what most people don't know uh, you know i know a lot of guys like to change out their tender springs it gives a it gives a better ride but uh you know that is somewhat of a band-aid i mean it's great it does ride better but you're not getting a true dual rate without putting a crossover ring crossover rings is what so when you're riding this is a lighter rate spring than your main so when you're going slower, all your ride is going to be on this tender spring. Well, if you don't put a crossover ring, it's going to end up being a double spring with a combined rate. Uh, the crossover ring allows, so when this slider hits this crossover ring, it puts all of your ride into the main spring. And uh, these crossover rings were pretty cool. I got them from Suspension Direct. Dan had some with him. These are actually a, uh, a type of plastic. It's a hard plastic one piece that wraps around and holds one screw in it they're really nice uh, so you guys that don't have uh, crossover rings and you're running uh, a bigger tender spring and you really need to check out suspensions direct and see about getting you a crossover ring because it really 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 makes a difference in uh, the progression of your tender spring over into your main main spring anyway guys just a just a little tidbit of information uh you know Everybody doesn't have to agree with me. You know, my opinions are my opinions, but crossover rings are very important. So, you know, if, you've, if you change out your springs, get with your local dealer, get with uh, Suspensions Direct, uh, Walker Evans. There's a lot, of, a lot of vendors on Razor Life that can sell you crossover rings, but it really makes a difference. Thanks for watching, guys.